one of the most famous opera houses in all of the world. That's an amazing set, wow. And the costumes, look at these. You gotta picture the set, right? Up on that huge stage. Welcome back everyone, Buenos Aires, Argentina. We are here today in beautiful Plaza La Valle. And today we are here to see an iconic location here in Buenos Aires, right there in front of us. Teatro Colón. Teatro Colón, one of the most famous opera houses in all of the world, one of the most famous tourist attractions here in Buenos Aires, and we're gonna check it out. Not only that, we're gonna tour inside, but I also found out you can visit the workshop where they make all the costumes and the sets for Teatro Colón. And we're gonna do that too, so come along. Thanks for clicking on the video. If you wanna help out the channel and help it grow, I really would appreciate it. Click on the like button down there, the subscribe button, and the little bell next to it to be notified for when new videos drop. It really helps the channel grow because it's gonna help the YouTube algorithm recognize this content and spread it to other YouTube viewers. If you'd like to support the channel monetarily, I would appreciate that as well. You can leave a super thanks by clicking this thanks button here and give a small donation to the channel. I appreciate your support. So back to the video, enjoy. So here in Plaza La Valle, we were actually here in this plaza before, uh, back when we visited uh, Buenos Aires last summer. We were here, just over there, on the other side of Plaza La Valle, over there, because um, we visited the uh, Templo Libertad, the Jewish temple, like very famous Jewish temple that's just a few blocks over that way. And we had a little chat in the park here before we went. Um, so, uh, link to that video in the description, of course. But today we're here to see Teatro Colón. And Teatro Colón is one of the like major, major tourist attractions in Buenos Aires. And it took me a few times coming here to uh, actually go and see it. But we're gonna go see it. We're gonna take a tour. Uh, amazing, amazing architecture as you can see. It was opened in 1908. They started building it in 1889. And there were actually two architects that worked on it. I can't remember their names right now, but I'll put the names in the subtitle. Actually, three architects. Originally, the mentor and pupil team of Francesco Tamburini and Vittorio Miano, who, well, both died. After which, the project was taken up by a Belgian architect named Julio Dormal. One of them worked on it for like, I don't know, many years, and then died half like through halfway through the process. And, uh, was replaced by another architect who finished it off. But in 1908, it was opened, and it's been open ever since. There was a uh, renovation more recently in the 2000s, a major renovation to sort of uh, fix it up. And it is, from everything that I've seen and everything that I've heard, amazing, outside and in. And you can see from the outside, it has a very, very cool, uh, just just the architecture that you're sort of known, the amazing architecture that Buenos Aires is known for, especially with a lot of the buildings that were built around the late 1800s and early 1900s, just like this one. We're gonna take a tour inside. It costs 20,000 uh, pesos for foreigners, which is about, I don't know, 17, 17 bucks or so and you get a guided tour. This one is in Spanish. They do actually have tours in English and tours in Portuguese as well. But decided to take the Spanish one because, I don't know, it's good. It's good practice for Spanish, right? And hopefully we'll learn a little bit about uh, the theater when we're in there. Of course, we're gonna learn a lot, but hopefully we'll be able to understand most of what the tour is saying. Our tour is about to start here in maybe about 15 minutes, so we'll head inside. We'll take the tour, and when we're done, we're gonna head over, like I said, to the workshop, the uh, Teatro Colón Fabrica, where they make all of the uh, sets and the costumes, and we're gonna get to see a lot of cool stuff in there, too. All right, we're inside, we're on the tour. Yo, check this place out, oh my god. 
Look, we've, we've seen some impressive buildings in our travels here in South America. But man, look at this thing. This is incredible. Okay, I gotta rejoin the tour group. theater itself. Look at these columns. All the marble like columns in here. I, I think they're marble. I assume they're marble. And all the like work on the ceilings. <laughs> this is really incredible. I mean seeing it seeing it from outside. Obviously seeing it from outside. You can tell, you can tell us from the outside that it's not gonna be like too shabby on the inside either, but it's very, very grand. Very cool. Up here on the second floor. This is like even more grand up here on the second floor. Gracias. From down there on the first floor, I didn't even notice like these reliefs along up by the ceiling. are all mosaic too. Look at this. Not just the patterns on the edge, but like the floors themselves. The this like whole white part of the floor is all mosaic. Tiny, tiny little tiles. incredible stained glass window that's sort of just like I don't know it's it's like it's pushed to the side there's so much amazing stuff in here kind of miss out on things this room is really incredible the tour has left me side of that stained glass window. 
Look at this. This room is incredible. This is some serious Gilded Age shit right here. Jeez, look at this. The lights up in the ceiling here are really cool. There's all this incredible like wood carving work right on the columns up above the windows all around the ceilings This is crazy 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 and these columns here These are wood columns man every every single one of them and there's tons of them all throughout this hall have this like very intricate carving even down here it's wild the hall continues basically around the whole area around the second floor we were like in there outside these doors looks like they have like a small setup here for a piano concert the really cool thing is they have these two mirrors at either end let's see if we can see this it's hard to see on camera but basically there's two giant mirrors at either end of the hall so that when you're standing looking into one of them, it looks like the hall just goes out like into infinity. Very cool. Okay, I think here we're going to the balconies, I believe. I think this is box seat level because we're up on the, only on the second floor and there's more stairs going up. That would be up to like the higher balconies. But since we're up on the second floor, I'm guessing this is like box seat level, yeah, because I can see the numbered boxes here. Oh man. <laughs> yeah, we're at like box, box seat level. Here, oh my god, it's beautiful. We're about to go up to the cupola, but before we leave, the style of the theater is like all round for the acoustics. It's like Italian style and there's velvet it's all made of wood and there's velvet like all of the curtains all of the boxes all of the seats are velvet to absorb the sound so there's no echoes and also over there there are like uh on the second floor here these boxes those are vip boxes for like the president and the governor when they come really really cool we're gonna head out we're gonna move out. Let me see. Let's see. Let other people get a good view out there. And the um, all the velvet curtains and the velvet on the chairs and like every, like basically everywhere in the whole theater was all replaced in the renovation in 2010 and it's all from Italy and apparently it's basically like six kilometers worth of velvet um, in the entire theater. It's seven levels tall and we were on the second level which is the that second level balcony in the center. Those are some of the, like the most expensive seats. Very cool. Well that was the tour. 
I misunderstood about going up to the cupola. We didn't actually go up there, but a very, very cool tour to see uh, a very impressive theater. Not, not gonna lie, I, I can tell why it is one of regarded as one of the greatest um, opera houses in all the world. Really incredible. I really enjoyed that, and we're still doing more. We're gonna go over to the uh, Teatro Colon Fabrica, the workshop, where they make all the sets, all the costumes, and we're gonna go tour that. That's over in a different neighborhood. It's down in La Boca, uh, where we've been before, actually, for a previous video. Um, we visited La Boca in our video that we made about Diego Maradona when we were here last summer. So, let's head out. Here it is Colón Fabrica. Colón Fabrica, right here. One of the hop-on, hop-off tourist buses. Because we are actually in a very, very touristy spot here. Up here, right over there, is uh, La Vuelta de Rocha, the turn of Rocha, and uh, El Caminito de la Boca just over there. We actually visited El Caminito de la Boca and further up the, uh, the Caminito, the like little walk, the uh, Bombanera, La Bombanera, the stadium where the Boca Juniors play. We visited there in the video we made about um, Diego Maradona. I'll link that in the description. I think I mentioned that earlier in the video, but that's where we are here. Colón Fabrica, very close, very close to uh, La Boca. So let's go check it out. All right, we're here, we're inside the Colón Fabrica, Teatro Colón Fabrica, the warehouse or the factory workshop of Teatro Colón. We're here about 10 minutes early, so we're waiting over here in the like waiting area before we can get in. It's timed entry. Uh, the ticket entrance for me for foreigner costs 6,000 pesos, which is not very much, like five bucks. But from here, you can see the whole workshop. And you can see they've got like giant set pieces. They've got costumes. I'm super excited to go in and take a look at this. So in about 10 minutes, we're gonna get to do that. All right, we've started. We've started our self-guided tour. Now I wanna mention, uh, there is actually a guided tour that you can take. There's a cut runs a couple times uh, a day And I chose not to do that because if you guys have been watching any of the videos on this channel You know that I don't like doing guided tours. I'd rather do a self-guided tour and that's what we're gonna do So we're in now It looks like we just take a loop around through here around the back and we end up up here and I think up here in the front these are sets from the current show or the show that I think is going to be going on. I didn't quite understand what the, our, our guide was saying as she introduced the situation here, but you can see there's some costumes right up here in the front. This is very, very cool. Of course, there is information like on these screens here where all these people are standing in front of where they give you a little information. Also got to watch out down here for steps and don't like trip and fall. But it's very, very cool so far. Now I don't know how many of these sets here they have out here like permanently, just for people to see. And how often it gets rotated. I imagine they rotate some of these sets and costumes out. Um, but like I mentioned here on the screens, they have information, little videos with information about the theater and different different performances that they've done. And there are also QR codes up in the corners so that you can like scan it and get more information. Wow, this is super cool. I was, uh, when I was a young buck, a kid, I was a bit of a theater kid. So like seeing all this all this like backstage stuff with the sets and the, uh, the costumes. It is very, very cool to see, especially like on this huge, like massive uh, scale of like a very professional uh, theater, you know, like Teatro Colon, right? Because Teatro Colon 
first and foremost is an opera house and so they have you know big sets they do other things than opera the Teatro Colón I didn't mention that earlier but they don't do just opera there they do musical like classical music performances they do ballet lots of stuff that requires um, amazing sets and of course the cool thing about sets I always thought is like you see them from the front they look amazing and then from the back you know they're not wasting any time on the back of it of course it's very cool let's see this is for Ultravia Llamado Deseo a streetcar named Desire I guess this is a opera version of Streetcar Named Desire. That's very cool. This is great. This is really great. I wonder what was what's over here on this side. Uh, this definitely isn't Streetcar Named Desire set on this other side here. This is more like a, I don't know, it looks like a, well, let's see, actually, there's this, oh, this is La Boheme, okay. La Boheme, that makes sense. This looks like a La, Bo La Boheme era set, right? Very, uh, very Victorian era. Very Victorian era, La Boheme. And over here, not La Boheme. Over here, La Finta Giardinera, Mozart. This is nuts. Of course, the sets, you know, themselves, right? They will have more, a lot more sets. They're really just sort of showing off the one, one highlight. Like, I think whatever is, like, the most impressive part of the set, right? Like, the staircase here. These paintings. These costumes. Look at these costumes. These are wild. I like this too. I have a little spot on the floor that tells you where to stand to get the perfect like selfie with the costumes. It's very cool. Very, very cool. This is this is wild back here. And of course, like in the back back there is more stuff that they have stored I think, stuff they're working on like the actual workshop part maybe where they're doing more work back there and actually building these sets and then of course storing them because you know, if you've, if you've <laughs> built these gigantic sets like this right, and then <laughs> you do the same production again you don't have to rebuild the whole set so they can use these over and over especially if they're doing productions that are like quite popular and that they repeat. Man, these are crazy. Look at the size of these things. I don't know what show this is. This looks very, uh, I don't know, like Spanish colonial era. Uh, oh, let's see. Scan the code to enhance my experience. Okay, let's do that. Oh, this is Don Carlo. Giuseppe Verdi, Don Carlo. I'm actually not familiar with Don Carlo, with the opera Don Carlo, Giuseppe Verdi. Maybe someone in the comments knows. Tell me, tell me what it's about. It has some very impressive, impressive sets, including that giant hand over there. And the costumes, look at these.
really incredible costumes. This is, I think, from the same. No, actually, th uh, this may be from the same production, Don Carlo. Kind of looks like it. Same theme, right? All these giant bronze looking columns. Of course, they're not actually bronze, they're made out of like wood, but. Same sort of costumes looking like. Ooh, look at this. These are really, really cool. This place, I'm already very, very glad that I came to check this place out. See if we can take a look in the back real quick. See like the actual inner workings of the workshop back there. It's cool. Now this place um, is only open to tourists or to visitors on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Because of course, on the other days, they're back here making all the sets. They're making a ton of noise and you know, but so you can come and visit on the weekends, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and only for a, well, like a few hours each day. I think it's uh, from like two o'clock until about six or seven o'clock in the afternoon. No, this is okay. So this is actually a different. This is Los Cuentos de Hoffman. The Tales of Hoffman. So different, different production this. It does look similar. I'm gonna back up and try and get a shot of the entire set piece here because it's really, really cool. Look at that. It's crazy. That's an amazing set, wow. Some more over here, some backdrops from, jeez, oh, look at this. These backdrops are incredible. This looks like a, like a Hieronymus Bosch. In fact, that actually I think this is a reproduction of like Hieronymus Bosch paintings. That definitely is. I've seen that. The dude with his, <laughs> the dude that looks like a tree with his butt and people living inside. Man, yeah, that's definitely a Hieronymus Bosch painting. I, I recognize that. This whole thing might be actually. Hieronymus Bosch, by the way. <laughs> if you've never seen Hieronymus Bosch paintings, you should Google that because they're crazy. I've learned a little bit about him. And historians say that he wasn't on any kind of drugs, but <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> I like, look at that. That looks like the paintings of someone who was on a lot of drugs. Here's a really interesting thing. You can't see it in this because it's not the detail, not the same detail level as the actual Hieronymus Bosch painting, but right there where there's that like lute with the harp, there's like a body on the ground face down, and on on the butt there's actually sheet music painted, like, written. Um, here, of course, it's, it's blurred out because this is on a much smaller scale, and of course it's something that like people are going to see from from like, you know, the, the audience 10, 15 rows back. So they're not going to be able to see that, but in the actual one, there's actual sheet music written on that person's butt. And people, musicians on like YouTube, have actually played the song that is uh, written on the butt, the Hieronymus Butt song. Hieronymus Bosch Butt Song.
anyway, I'm going on a little bit of a tangent, but I have actually just recently been uh, learning about Hieronymus Bosch and that dude. He painted some crazy stuff. And here we have from, what is this? Regoletto, Giuseppe Verdi. Regoletto. Also incredible sets here. These giant destroyed columns. I mean, look at the, like, look at this up close, the scene. With the light coming in from the skylight, the destroyed columns. It's incredible. These costumes. Once again, the costumes. wild and of course once again I have no idea Rigoletto I do not I am not familiar with this opera Rigoletto maybe someone can tell me what it's about it looks pretty dark over here we have uh, a very Japanese looking set what this is. Oh, there's Madame Butterfly. Of course. That makes sense. Madame Butterfly by Giacomo Puccini. Now this I am familiar with. This uh, I have seen before. I am familiar with the plot. If you haven't seen Madame Butterfly, well, you should see it if you get a chance. It's excellent. This set is, is excellent too. Very, very cool set. Now, having seen the actual theater, right, in the beginning part of the video, you got to picture the set, right, up on that huge stage, that giant theater, seven levels tall. You're sitting in the most expensive box seats balcony right there and listening to amazing opera. Man. One of these days, I'm not probably not going to be able to do it this time around, but one of these days when I'm here in Buenos Aires, I'm going to go see an opera at Teatro Colón, an actual opera. We'll shell out. We'll splurge. We'll splurge for some good seats. And we'll see an actual opera. The problem, You know what one of the big problems is for me doing that? Um, if you've watched these videos, you know I am traveling with only a backpack, which means I basically have... Um, no clothes. I have like three shirts and like two pairs of pants and like that's it basically. And they're all not nice enough to go to a theater. If you're going to go to a nice theater like Teatro Colon, beautiful theater, see a beautiful opera, you kind of got to dress up a bit. And I just don't have any dress up clothes. So one of these days though, one of these days. Anyway, this is for Maida. These sets, these Egyptian, ancient Egyptian sets, and these costumes, man. It is incredible how much work goes into these. Unreal. Unreal. Well, we're getting around here to the end. Um, the area that you can tour in here, it's not really that big. I mean, it's basically, that's the back wall, quote unquote. Um, and there's this area here, and then the area that we went through there, and you're back out at the front. But there's enough that you can see, you know, one, two, three, four, five, so probably like ten or so 10 or 12 different sets from different uh, productions which is very cool actually and you know like I said for for foreigners here it's um, what 6,000 pesos five five bucks basically five US dollars to get in 
and that's totally worth it. Especially if you're kind of a bit of a theater nerd. And if you've already gone to the uh, Teatro Colón to visit the theater itself and tour, I mean, it's definitely worth it to come here as well. Unfortunately, they're not close to each other. Um, the Teatro Colón is over sort of like Bio Centro. Uh, let's see, what is this? L'Elysir d'Amore. L'Elysir d'Amore by Gaetano Don Donizetti. I, uh, I don't know what this is. L'Elysir d'Amore. Hmm. I am unfamiliar with this production. The, oh, The Elixir of Love. New production of The Elixir of Love by Gaetano, Gaetano Donizetti. Hmm. Okay. Anybody know this production? The Elixir of Love? <coughs> Very cool sets. Basketball court set. I think that's it. I think we're at the exit here. And this last production here, let's see. This massive set, this was the one that we could see from like the waiting area where we were when we were waiting to get in. And I think this may be from like the most recent production that they did. There's this incredible like giant set up here with the huge throne and these two massive statues. They look very much like the, uh, uh, what are those, the terracotta warrior statues that were found in China. I don't remember where exactly in China. But I think, you, I think everybody knows what I'm talking about. The, the big, the, the huge, huge collection of terracotta warrior statues, hundreds of them that were, were excavated. These look like them, very similar. These costumes, check these out. This costume, this is the, obviously the, uh, like look at this thing. This is the most impressive. This huge train. All these like little, I mean they're fake obviously, but still gemstones, right? That are in the headdress and in the actual like sewn into the pattern of the of the dress, crazy. To find out what production this is. All right, here's the here's the real. If anybody is a opera nerd out there, and you can tell me what production this is, just from looking at the sets. Take a guess. Take a guess down in the comments. Let me know. So I think that's gonna be it, actually, for the video. I think we're gonna head out here. We saw Teatro Colón, the famous Teatro Colón. We got to take a tour, we learned about it. We came here to the incredible Teatro Colón Fabrica. We got to see all these wild sets and costumes that they had. So much work that goes into these productions. Truly incredible. So, I think that's gonna be it. And I really hope you guys enjoyed this video because I really enjoyed making it. And stick around, there's gonna be plenty more uh, coming from here in Buenos Aires. And uh, we'll see you in the next one.